Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Google Search News. I hope life is treating you reasonably well wherever you are. I'm your host today, John Mueller, here from Google Switzerland. Today, we have some ranking changes, a new API, a change in analytics, and more. So ready or not, here we go. Starting off, we have two ranking changes. The first is about the page experience ranking factor. It includes the core web vitals, which are based on measurements for speed, responsiveness, and stability as seen by users. Previously, this was used only on mobile. Recently, we launched this for desktop users too. As an aside, this is independent of mobile-first indexing. We've seen some fantastic progress on the web in regards to the core web vitals. Many sites, perhaps also yours, have improved significantly. I'm looking forward to seeing even more of that. Another update is about product reviews. Last year, we expanded our recommendations for websites that include product reviews. We recommended focusing on in-depth, authentic, and high-quality reviews. Recently, we announced an update that works to better recognize these for ranking. This update is rolling out in English, and we aim to cover more languages over time. If you're publishing product reviews, I'd recommend checking out the blog post and the information linked from there. Even if you're not publishing these, it may still be worthwhile to check it out. It can give you a better understanding of the kind of content that Google's users have found useful, and perhaps there are some parallels relevant for your website too. And now over to APIs. We just recently launched a new API for Search Console. An API is a way that programmers can reuse functionality from one system in an app of their own. In this case, it's for the URL inspection feature. This API allows programs to check the indexation status of any particular page on your website. Among others, it will let you know if the URL was discovered, crawled, indexed, and if so, what the selected canonical was. This is also available to use manually in Search Console. As an API, it's now possible for other tools to include this functionality. Many have already started including it, perhaps even some that you're using. Even if you're just using spreadsheets to track your website, there's a way to integrate it. And of course, if you like to write code yourself, we have great documentation for it. Combine it with other data sources to make something really fancy. Check it out or try one of the many tools that have implemented it. And now for something that's not from Search, but likely relevant to many of you. Google Analytics recently announced that they're stopping data collection for universal analytics next year. This is one of the more common ways that people track website metrics. The newer version, Google Analytics 4, has been available for a few years now. While there's still a bit of time, it can make sense to move to the new setup and to get used to it early. There's a lot of documentation and a bunch of smart folks out there who can help you with the process. Let us know in the comments if you found a particularly useful site for GA4. Moving over to a neat milestone in the community. Recently, Barry Schwartz from Search Engine Roundtable announced that he had published over 40,000 articles on the topic of SEO. Barry stays on top of every change at all major search engines and frequently asks us for more details when things aren't so clear. Barry has been doing this more or less since the start of SEO. His work has truly made a big difference in search engines, in the world of SEO, and on websites worldwide. Thank you, Barry. But wait, there's still more. We recently started a blog post series about using Search Console with Data Studio. Combining these services allows you to connect multiple sources of data and to create fancy dashboards. Our blog has more. Another recent update is the launch of the Index If Embedded Robots Meta Tag. This allows a page to specify whether its content should be used for indexing in certain situations. It covers a somewhat unique situation, so you probably won't run into it often. If you're using Search Console Insights, you may have received congratulatory emails. Who doesn't like to celebrate steps on the path to more success? Search Console Insights is specifically tuned for creators who often don't need the full functionality of Search Console or Analytics. If you're verified in Search Console, you will automatically have access to it. Check out the Google for Creators YouTube channel for more. 
We also recently published a new video series called SEOs and Devs on our channel. This series aims to bridge the disconnect between SEOs and developers by highlighting the intersection of the two professions. There is a link to the playlist below. And finally, even though we're currently still recording at home, folks from the Search Relations team are planning to go to a handful of in-person events again. It's exciting and a bit scary to see folks in person, so say hi if you see us. All right, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for tuning in to this Google Search News episode. I hope your year has started off well and the spring or fall is giving you time to do good things. If you have any feedback or comments, please let us know here. If you subscribe, I'm sure we'll meet again, perhaps in another episode of the Google Search News. Bye.